Welcome to Thinking Day. Get inspired by your sister's WAGS advocacy projects. Just like Girl Scouts in the United States complete take action projects and awards, Girl Guides and Girl Scouts make a difference all over the world. They are doing things like being involved in anti-violence campaigns in Rwanda and finding ways to inspire girls to get into computer science in Cyprus. For this activity, we have teamed up with Girl Scouts and Girl Guides from around the world so you can learn about 10 WAGS advocacy campaigns from the stories included in this video, which were adapted for you from the packet called Get Inspired by Your Sisters, WAG Advocacy Champions. After viewing the video, share what you've done to change the world in a journal with your family or your troop. Afterwards, talk about each story. What stood out to you the most? Do any of the stories inspire you to think about a project you could do in your own community? How can we learn for and celebrate our global sisterhood. Now sit back and listen to Girl Scouts and Guides from around the world share with you stories of advocacy. Hi, I'm Jody Lynn, a Girl Scout alumna and Gold Award recipient from Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago in Northwest Indiana, Service Unit 730. I'm excited to share with you Inez's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Everyone, meet Inez. She's from Portugal, and she belongs to the Guide Association of Portugal, which is located in the Western Hemisphere region. Here is Inez's story of advocacy. I'm passionate about the role non-formal education plays in building a better society, Inez says. I've witnessed it many times as a leader, through every girl I watch growing and exploring her capacities, talents, and dreams. She is excited about her opportunity to be an advocate for the movement, which she believes has a key role to play in bringing about worldwide transformation of women's lives. Driven by her passion to change the world through advocacy, Inez recently authored a comprehensive advocacy toolkit for WAGS that any girl can use to start her own advocacy campaign. Guiding has been driving social change for a hundred years, she says. As girl guides, what affects one of us affects all of us. I am determined to not be silent until every girl on the planet is safe, empowered, and able to reach her full potential. Hi, I'm Katie, a Girl Scout alumna and Silver Award recipient from Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago and Northwest Indiana, Troop 70563. I'm currently a student at Illinois State University, and I'm excited to share with you Florence's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Everyone, this is Florence. She is from the scouting organization Association des Guides du Rwanda, which is in Africa. When Florence joined the guides as a 10-year-old, she found plenty of inspirational role models around her. She is now a final year medical student at the University of Rwanda and a district commissioner of the Rwanda Girl Guides Association. She has been involved in anti-violence campaigns and has undertaken advocacy work for girls and women's rights. She volunteers with the Rwanda Non-Communicable Disease Alliance on a campaign to prevent malnutrition and non-communicable diseases. As a peer editor on women's health issues, in 2015, Florence coordinated World AIDS Day events for the Medical Students Association of Rwanda. She is also the vice coordinator of the Rwandan Village Community Promoter Team, working to raise living standards in rural areas. Hi, I'm Anna, a Girl Guide alumni and Silver Award recipient from the Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago, Northwest Indiana, from Troop 70289. I'm currently studying business at Bradley University. I'm excited to share with you Jamar's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Jamar is from Venezuela in the Western Hemisphere, where scouting is called Association de Iguala Scouts de Venezuela. Jamar City cites the noble Laurentin Lemire Globin, who she met at WAG's World Young World Woman Forum in 2010 as a major inspiration. Following her example, Jamar campaigns for gender equality as a holistic approach to women's health issues. A key area of concern to her 
to her is the high rate of teen pregnancies in her home country. And she wants to help young women around the world to develop their full potential as re leaders and active citizens. She is currently pursuing a major degree in labor and law and speaks on behalf of the Guala Scouts de Venezuela for its campaigns about her experience in the organization. Hi, I'm Jenna, a Girl Scout alumna from Wisconsin, and I am currently studying at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. As a Girl Scout, I have traveled to Costa Rica, Mexico, and India, but today I'm excited to share with you Rachel's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Rachel Graham is from the United Kingdom and is with the Girl Scout Organization of Girl Guiding UK. She is from the region of Europe. A committed com campaigner for social justice, Rachel works for a UK charity and is a guide commissioner managing 35 guide leaders in London. She says her academic background in law and policy, coupled with experience working closely with parliamentarians in the UK and Ireland, has shown her that even the smallest poli policy changes can have a big impact on people's lives. She calls the guides a global sisterhood and says she is grateful for the role the organization played in her upbringing, particularly the way it continually challenged her to try new things. She believes that WEGS has a unique chance to help all girls and young women find their voices. Hi, I'm Anna, a girl guide from the UK. I've been fortunate enough to volunteer at our cabana in Mexico, and in life I study history with geography at university. But today I'm excited to share with you Rosalind's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Um, Rosalind is from the Republic of Congo, and she's a member of the Association de Scouts et Guides du Congo, uh, and that is situated in the African region. Rosalind describes her current advocacy role as being that voice coming out from the crowd speaking up on behalf of women. She's a team leader in Brazzaville for the Catholic Association of Scouts and Guides and believes the guiding movement has a key role to play in the empowerment of women in her home country and around the world. She is the mother of two young girls and she says she is bringing them up to respect and live by the values embodied by the guides. Above all, she wants them to grow up in a world free of violence and discrimination against women. Hi, I'm Aislinn, a Girl Scout alumna and Silver Award recipient from Girl Scout Troop 70563. I recently returned to the U.S. after earning a master's degree in global wildlife science and policy from Newcastle University in England. I'm excited to share with you Candela's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Candela Gonzalez is from Argentina, where she is a part of the scouting organization Asociación Guías Argentinas in the Western Hemisphere. It brought me on. I found my place in the world through guiding. Growing up in a small town in Argentina was difficult for Candela, and a change of school when she was six resulted in a loss of confidence following which she forgot how to read and found social interaction very hard. Her worried parents encouraged her to join her local guide group, and gradually she developed the self-confidence and skills she would later need to succeed in her career. Looking back, I can see how much it helped me develop and change, and I've seen that since in many other girls. She started working in the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in Argentina's Ministry of Defense when she was 19. I was very young and it was an extremely male environment. I rose through the ranks until I had a senior role. Sadly, many men had difficulty accepting or even understanding that. But she found that her experience as a guide was really useful. It gave me the tools and the experience to challenge those attitudes and to stand up for myself. She's helped plan Argentina's response to natural disasters and has led teams in the field. For example, in Haiti, following the earthquake there. You see the best and the worst of people, including yourself, she says. In Haiti, people were nervous and distressed and you had to come up with solutions. My experience as a guide was really helpful with problem solving and working in a team under pressure when it's a matter of life and death. 
She believes that guiding has a vital role in helping her country develop and build better opportunities for women. Argentina is dealing with some difficult issues, and guiding can play really an important part in this process. She says, it's a safe place for girls that teaches them about their rights and about healthy relationships. And she believes her new international advocacy role offers some exciting challenges. The Guides has an important role breaking down social barriers by telling the stories of girls and empowering them. We need to educate communities. We work closely with governments and NGOs. We are trusted and respected and people listen to us. Hi, I'm Kira, a Girl Scout alumna and Silver Award recipient from Girl Scout Troop 70563. I'm currently a senior biology student at Elmhurst University, and I'm excited to share with you Maria's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Maria is a girl guide from Cyprus, a country in Europe. Maria believes that advocacy can ensure unheard voices are heard and has the power to shift attitudes, alter behaviors, and influence decision makers. She currently helps organize events that promote technological change and inspires children, particularly girls, to pursue degrees in computer science. She has been a guide since she was six years old and is now president of the Girl Guides Youth Council in her home country. Educated in her home country and in England, she holds a PhD in computer sciences and completed a software engineering internship at Google. She works at the University of Cyprus as a research associate investigating how drone swarms could be used by emergency responders. Hi, I'm Gillian, a Girl Scout alumni and Gold Award recipient from Girl Scout Troop 70563. I'm currently getting ready to graduate from Aurora University where I double majored in history and music with a minor in museum studies. I'm excited to share with you Helga's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. This is Helga. She is from Tanzania and is a part of the Tanzanian Girl Guide Association in Africa. Tanzania also holds a special place in my heart because I also visited Tanzania while attending the Juliet Lowe seminar. This is Helga's story. A medical doctor working in a community HIV and AIDS prevention program, Helga was a youth volunteer with the Tanzanian Guides and is now a training commissioner for the organization. She has been involved in campaigns to promote better nutrition for Tanzanian girls and young women and is excited that her advocacy role now gives her the chance to represent them in an international setting. I have a global platform to speak out and to be heard. It also allows me to learn from other girl guides from different countries about strategies for making the world a safe place for girls and young women, one where they need not fear being harassed or belittled. Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm a Girl Scout alumna from Massachusetts, and I've gone on many destination trips through Girl Scouts of USA. I'm currently studying engineering and music at Smith College, but today I'm excited to share with you Chin Wei's story of advocacy for World Thinking Day. Chin Wei is from Taiwan, an island in Eastern Asia. Her scout association is called the Girl Scouts of Taiwan. Chin Wei works with nonprofit organizations in Taiwan to promote sustainable international development and, in this capacity, has led field teams in Sri Lanka and the Philippines. Her background in civic education was both inspired and encouraged by her involvement with the guiding movement. She says that being a guide has helped her understand and adapt to different ways of working in different cultures in order to achieve common goals. She wants to use her advocacy role to promote equal rights for women all around the world and to help enable all girls to achieve their full potential.